Right. Fold it over. Just clean these pads up. You can throw it all back in. Put it back together and back in. Kind of worse as you go around the corners. Sometimes it actually makes the pad look like it's got less meat than it actually has. Coming out your bar from the cleaning, you're never going to get completely spotless. You're going to get the worst of it. Yeah. For a pad that's a used pad, it's thrown back in. That's perfectly acceptable. It's not going to be sparkling spotless, just check your surfaces, make sure they're not too bad. Shut your wear, make sure they're not too bad. I'd say it's a pretty good pad that, so that can be reused. And then put that on there. It's the other pad. So one pad usually wear, I mean normally you can get even wear, but one pad will always wear more than the other. Soapy water it doesn't harm, it's perfectly fine. Toothbrush or something just slightly abrasive. Bits and some particles. You know what's in there? Come around that with a screwdriver. The other rough bits off. Assembling a clean brake system with completely dirty hands. As you so we build time. The dirt. Let's dry. Butter fingers today. Let's try cleaning something down and butter fingers drops it. There we go. Wipe up. Move this over here. So we don't get it confused. Do a quick tidy up and I'll be right with you. Nice tidy up. Things get too messy, I just can't work. Alright, in a second, let's see if I can set it all back up. And also, I can. My Highland sensors are telling me a storm is inbound, so let's get this finished.
So that's the no brake videos. We never assemble brake system. Just completely dry as is, how it is. You never ever do it. First and foremost, I'll just get done there. It's going to be fully. <coughs> Bless me. Oh. Yeah, Diablo Grease. Let's go first. We'll get a bit of rubber back in there. Get some of the filly jobs out of the way first. I'm going to rub around where it's meant to fit in. Because you're going to get greasy. Hopefully we can just... This in the gub and it sits in there. It can be a bit of a faff and a fiddle. But it will go in. There we are. You can use the back end to see how it's doing. And again, a straw will do it. Just gotta use a straw just to pop it back in. Almost. Probably gonna regret pre grease and it's meant to make the jobs easier, but it does not in this circumstance. Did you do it? Yep, yeah, he's done it, he's popped it back in. There we go. Feel fair to fiddle, but it goes back in. Right, next job, yeah, I can find the sensors are right. Bit of grease. Slide it in there. Pick a stick. Pick it down there. Work it down there. Best way as well. You've got a couple of earbuds left over. Take some like that. We send it down there. Yes, the wheel's coming in. I need to finish up very quickly. Send it down there. Show the whole area in there. It's greased up. That's gonna be moving. And same with dollop just to pop in that. Like so and that should be sufficient. Bit of grease on here. Still slider here. Just gonna lay our grease on that. Unless you got a boot slider in there. We have to put some in there as well. <coughs> you can take a grease stick, put the grease, and just shovel it in there. That was a big drop I felt. And the edges. Before you do it, I'm not using this tripod ever again. No other gimbals on the record, I'm not sure. I'm gonna let it cold, but here you go. Let's just fill it with some more grease. Clean the camera. There we go. Nope. This is why mechanics when they film anything, give them kudos. Give them the utmost kudos because they're trying to do some greasy, dirty hands. Best we can do at the minute. I don't know how it's going to come up, but there we go. Right, training, we need to hurry up. So, yeah, some in there. So, on this back out. Yeah, See you in a bit. Coating, that's you just don't want them seasoning. There we go, a nice coating layer. 
And that's all we need to go back on. Don't know if that's any more of that grease we need. No, we should put that grease away. And your hands of that grease because you don't want any more of that and you don't want you going anywhere else on the brake. two back together you will get a bit of grease splurging out so take your time putting them in there we go so you don't want too much in just make sure it's not too much but it's still a nice amount that movement there that's exactly what I want and this excess grease we just take a wee rag and wipe it away So that's what you're looking for, that movement there, that's what they should have. If you ain't got that, that's just as much concern as ECs and these boot sliders are just as much attention as that. Yeah. Right, now we're going to need a cup of grease. So first of all, I'll cup of grease that. Some dirt on the front. Yeah. Uh, bear with me, I'm just going to clean the camera. some dirt on it so we need a good clean. Right, I'm gonna get this job done now. So there we go, double a cup of grease back over here, top and bottom, double a cup of grease on the back of your pistons, dabbles around here, double, 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 
Oh, daddy long legs. No, can't you lot wait three weeks till I'm actually in your region and then attack me? Not now, I don't want daddy long legs now. I can wait. Back of there, back of your plates. Smear on each one. Quick smear here, quick smear, quick smear. Like so. Where the hell my rag keeps going, I just don't know. There it is. Next bit, I'm sure we keep cleaning this at the same time. The new rain was coming on, I was not expecting it this early. Bit of cough grease, this is the metal pad. Little plate here. Bit of copper grease where it's going to fit in the tangs at the back. Dush dush. Now I can understand why people have caramel because even this automatic focus malark don't work. You want to put a bit on the front of the pads as well. Not to lay on the front of it. Dabble dabble dabble. Like that. Nice. Lay over it. So the pads can slide against it with a bit of ease. That goes in that way, is it that way, yes it is that way, yeah it's that way, as you can see, yeah, because basically you've got two bits here, locking bits, and then assemble the pads, it all makes sense, yeah, on the back of your pad, it's double double. You'll have the plate going on the back of this, but still you can put a double dabble and then dabble over the dabble. And we're dabbling over the dabble. There we go. Some little plate on the back. Grease. Grease, just nice smear of cup grease on the back. So, you've got three pistons, so try and do it in a circular area around where the piston is going to be. Top, through the gap where your boot piece is. And that one is going to sit back there, like so, because that one back here shouldn't actually move. That one here pretty much fastens and locks in place more or less once it's all in and all on. That should be. It's very slippy because I've got no, it's wet and I've got no grip at the minute. Hungry, want food. <laughs> right, there we go. And that will fit and lock back there. There's two little bits on that metal plate that keep that where it, pretty much there where it needs to stay. And that will move with this back plate here. Whereas the other pad can do it with the pistons. So I'll leave that there. Next pad. Smear on the back. Did get any on your pots so let's try and wipe them off before you pull it back in. It's the one of your truck, don't actually uh, try not to contaminate, but in this weather, in this situation, easier said than done. And that's all done lovely. You throw that back. You've also got the plate back here. Same again with the plate. Such and such plate goes at the back. A cup of grease. That's smearing a cup of grease all over. Smear it with it. 
I say the thing needs to slide and whatnot. Face it with the correct orientation, otherwise you wonder why you can't fit the thing back in. And then here's the tricky part. Roll that in, give your hands a quick wipe down. It's the easiest way to do it. side and then fit it as it should be and so you got this one at the back should retain and stay at the back oh, it'd do all this when it's raining wouldn't it it'd, couldn't pick a better time to start being the path God, if it weren't raining right now you know none of us would be doing this you know it there we go. That's how it should hold. Get your <clears throat> brake pad pin. Ah, oh, butt fingers today, man. So down. It's because I'm trying to hold and show. Got some play. I'm blaming the camera on this one. Grease, once you go enough grease on your hand, you just can't hold anything anymore without dropping it several times. There we go. Through your padding. So I did this outside because the weather was looking nice, and now it's all turned for the worse. I wish I did stay inside to do it. That's more or less in place, and nothing should come loose now. Yeah, let's get. Keep your hands a good clean. Line this slightly back in. So as well, make sure you got some cup grease on here. So that comes out again in the future nicely. Like so. Let's screw that back in. Don't you don't go worry about tying it up all yet. I'm gonna leave it to about there and then you can finish the rest off once in the bike. Give it all a quick wipe down. Any excess grease. And get it off. So what I say is not much point trying to clean the caliper up in the first place because when you're assembling it, your grease and dirt will get everywhere anyway. So it's not really that that matters. As I said, all internal here is what matters. Out here, how this looks, that, that doesn't make a difference. Because it's not cracked, of course, but it's all in here, and that's how it should look in the end, as you can see from before in the first one. A bit dirty in here, but. Once again, I'll just say, it's just, this is a 100,000 plus mile caliper, 2002, so 21 years old, 100 plus miles, miles, yeah. Yeah, move a few bits in, so this job done decent now. I'm not dropping things every five minutes, I'm getting that greasy now, I'm just dropping stuff. I ain't got room to work, it's too wet. I know there's excuses up. Just don't like working in the rain. Don't like it. Oh, I feel like it crouched down for two hours. Fresh cup of grease on the bolts. These ones you'll be putting back in. So fresh cup of grease on them. Try not to drop these ones on the floor at all. Still like grit or bits like that getting actually inside the thread. That's what causes problems. Right, if it's boosted up, if it's all good, let's put it all back together. Well, it's all back together, let's put it back on. Right. Let's see how much of this I can show. down for two hours in a squat position. 
uh, that's about as good as it's gonna get. You just kinda see where I'm working. As good as it's gonna get, I think. With all that done, it's just a case of fitting it back into place now. Just make sure everything is as of where it is. You got your metal there. So yeah, make sure everything is as it is, how it should be. So obviously you've got your boot sliders, they should move like so. Put your plate back there, that's positioned how it should be, and that's fitted in. The plate at the back, so this thing can move, so it should be your side. Two plates here, and they're facing back to lock that in. Two more plates on the back. Your pistons all clean, that's all cleaned. So, Caliper cleanup isn't just a simple hit with a toothbrush, it could be a lot more in depth than that, a lot more. And you just kind of wiggle it in, now you pushed it back, and just sit in like that, and it's back in place. And what we've got to do now, three bolts back in. Just get your orientation right, and it'll all come. This is the trickiest one to put back in, is that second bolt there. You can't just hold it up as far as you can get it, and you'll feel it kind of lock in. Get a few turns, and you should be able to do it more or less finger tight by then. Before you do go any further, just put it in a bit more. See, at the start, I could do this easy because my hands are so greased up now, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So, yeah, this just captures all the trials and tribulations. The other way. Once you're about almost there, uh, you can't feel it right, you just hit it with the spanner. Before you do go too far, further, don't forget you've got your pin back here. Which, you know, if I unscrew them a little bit, I could do this a lot easier, but. Eventually, once the thread's back in far enough, that it's connected in. That's not a problem. Yeah, this is laws of physics doing it bastard on me. So you just want to nick it off. You don't want to put lots of pressure on this bolt. You just want to give it a good snap off, snap off. That's it. That's all you need. What I will do as well, put some copper grease. And just fill that cavity. Put that copper grease in that cavity there. And then put that on. A little rubber boot and a dust protector. So we can snap these down. Make 
can tore them up if you want to. I'm not sure what the spec is. You can feel when they're right. After doing it bolts long enough, you kind of feel. You just get the feel. You don't bother with top. Especially in older vehicles, because over time, obviously, the metal deteriorates, threads and bolts used that again and again and again. They don't. They can't take the torque that they used to, or that they did from the factory. So you kind of have to lower the torque specs to what the manufacturer does state. But with these, generally it's just that. Uh, and that should be fine. See me that one. Not stupidly tough. Difficult to my right foot has gone to sleep. So I can't do a lot at the minute. Snake down like that. And that's nice and tight, that ain't going nowhere. Move one on the back. This one. Now it's not going nowhere. That's that job done. Once again, I did only use Levy's toolkit. I've not used any others. I see brush-wise, you yeah, have used other brushes, copper grease, axe grease, brake cleaner. But in terms of tools, done this toolkit all again. As you can hear, it's absolutely raining. It's absolutely pouring it down. British road for you. Yeah, well, to the next one. Um, we'll see, there's two more to do on the front. I'll probably do one side. Well, I'll show this side probably and explain that, but then probably leave the other side and I'll film the other side because it's just a basic caliper, really. But yeah, to the next one. <laughs>